You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. This dag guy, he, he likes antagonizing me, don't he? I may have to end up putting an axe between his eyes. Oh, I got two skill points. Two press to open the quest log. Okay. Spending skill points on nodes will improve your fighting skills. Stat nodes improve base stats. Main skills unlock fighting moves. Next. Global power. Equip nodes will increase your power. The higher the power, the more prepared you are for the challenges to come. A new beginning. Choose your path. Melee, stealth. Can I do like a little bit of each? Okay. What about this way? Okay. And what about this way? I'll have a balance going on here. What about a little bit more melee? Reset all skills, tutorial, zoom. Okay. Let's see. Melee resistance, melee damage, stealth damage, and range damage. Quest. Family matters. Ivor returns home to face a foster. Father's fury. Speak to Gunnar. Okay, did I right, speak to Gunnar? Gunnar is this way? Who is this over here waving at me? Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, Rolf. How do you know? You never went on a raid. Just shut up. Who is this here? Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. <laughs> the clan is happy to see Ivor return. Okay. Does he not have a woman? Where's that guy at that's got... What's this over here with the dice? Come! A little dice never caused any harm. Orlong is a game where two players duel by rolling. Let's do it. Let's try it. Orlock. I could do with a round. Orlock. Orlock. A game of skill. Orlock. <laughs> How about a game? Yeah. Oh, Let us play. All right, then. 
Let us begin. Let us begin. What are we doing here? Looks like we got some dice and some runes and some stones or something. Orlog is a game where two players duel by rolling dice and invoking God favors. The first player to reduce the health of the opponent to zero wins. Each round has three phases. The roll phase. Players roll their dice. Dive faces have various effects like attack, defense, or gain. Tokens used to invoke God favors. The God favor phase. The players may take a rune offering to invoke a God favor. I guess that's a rune. Uh, or is that just a glyph? I don't know. God favors grant powerful blessings that can effectively, greatly affect the outcome of a round or even a game. Okay, the resolution phase. The faces of the dice rolled by both players are resolved against each other. Damage is dealt or blocked. I'll just call it a rune. Tokens are gained or stolen. Rounds are played until one player reduces the health of the other to zero. Okay, let's try it and see what happens. Heads or tails? Let's go heads. Your opponent plays first. Roll phase. At the beginning of each round, you and your opponent take turns rolling dice. You can roll up to three times. Each Between each roll, you can choose which dice you want to keep and which you want to re-roll. Okay. Roll the dice. Dice faces. Deal one damage, deal one damage. Steal a rune from the opponent. Block one, block one, gain one. Huh. Tokens are used as offering to invoke God favor. These things with the borders. Back. Select dice to keep them, then confirm. So I guess I want this one, right? Because it had the border on it. And then maybe one of these and one of those. How many dice did it say I needed to use? Kept one. Select dice to keep, then confirm. Resolution phase. In this phase, the dice effects are resolved in order. Each border dice earns one glyph token. Axes and arrows are resolved and their unblocked damage applied. The player who rolled first this round also attacks first. Each hand steals token from the... Okay. All right. not good. I need more of those runes. So I know I want one of these and this one. And then I'll take a axe. How many of these? I don't remember how many they said I needed to choose. And take an arrow.
Can I re-roll it? No. I thought it said you could re-roll it. I think that was very good rolls. <laughs> oh, you stole my stuff again. Thief. He's probably going to beat me. So I know I want that, and I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to get two of those and steal that stuff back from him. I'm going to reap the roll and get that stuff. this say in this phase you may choose a god favor to invoke god favors are invoked in order of priority when a god favor is invoked its offering is given in its effect granted most god favors are invoked after both players choose before the resolution phase but some that specific stated in their effect description are invoked after the resolution phase if a player doesn't have enough for the offering when the god favor they chose is invoked, the effect is not granted. You can use this to your advantage against your opponent. But see, I don't have anything. I don't have any of them. He stole all mine. Deal two damage. Deal eight damage. But see, I don't, I don't have it, so it's probably not going to work. Oh, I got some of his stuff that time. Oh, okay. It worked for me. I guess. What happened? Oh, I used my stuff to cause him more damage. Okay. got a bunch of these. This is my game, stranger. Just give up. Offense he put down, did he?
So that can I rerun it? Sweet victory. Oh, the so. gods favored your Just hand barely today. won that. Shall we go again? No, I think that's enough for now. But we'll I have had enough later. of this. I like it, though. I'm not sure I quite understand all the strategy of it just yet, but uh, especially when it comes to that god favor stuff. Let's see, where am I supposed to be going? Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I will come back. it is practicing your wordplay Alvis ah Elvis. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery you taught me the art of writing poetry old friend it is only natural that I surpass you soon how about another lesson then a quick flight right here right now what do you say flight let's try flighting I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. Well, if you're teaching, I'm sure my next challenge is actually two. You're a very fine teacher, I'm sure I'll excel. Interesting. You have the cadence correct, but you failed the rhyme. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll make a fine goblet out of your skull. Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Don't really give you a lot of time to read and make your chores, does it? Winning flighting duels increases your charisma level. Okay... I didn't want to read that anyway, did I? <laughs> These games just wear me out. I don't know why they don't give you the option to, to just escape from that when you're done reading it instead of dropping it and making it go away. Hello, Eivor. Who yelled at me? Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. Drink. All right, Tekla. I'll... Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? <laughs> Let's do it. Go! 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 Go!
too strong for you. <laughs> Most of these back crowds would have pissed themselves off past by now. Yeah, most women I know, Is they could always no outdrink me. Is there no one who go around with me? <laughs> All right, Tekla, I'll outdrink you. No, I don't want to do that again. I'm too drunk. No, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Yeah. Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. What happened was it was like I was, uh... Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been war, even among the gods. When... Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. What's this? In bringing ingots to the settlement forge will allow Gunner to enhance web armor and weapon. In doing so will unlock rune slots, increase the pieces, uh, upgrade limit, and may improve its appearance. Okay. Is this what I do here? Right. Uh, wait. That should do it. Anything else? Let's see what he has to offer. Can he upgrade this? Do I have enough to upgrade? No, I don't guess I do. that I guess all right. that's it though that's all I can do I don't have any more stuff okay do you need anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. <laughs> five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. 
Lower. My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Okay. That's all for now. Return any time. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of getting tired, though, so... Plus, I need to see how well this is going to work, but let's see what else we got. The clan is helping the Sea Ivor return. So, so far, we've had a flighting, which I won. We played a dice game, Orlong, which I won, and then I lost to the drinking lady. What's this over? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was supposed to talk to the, to the king, right? They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Bonus content. What is all that over there? This open right on. Oh, that's some kind of tattoo or something, maybe? Where'd I go to get the tattoo? Can I make this jump up this ramp? Oh, no, I guess not. <laughs> Fine. Have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Show me your tattoos. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Oh, I can do a face. Oh, I can do tattoo everywhere, right? Customize Ivor look at the at Swin and Toes tattoo. <laughs> Bring them cosmetic schemes to access a wilder or wider variety of styles. Okay. Raven watch on the head. Oh, okay. So I can wait. I can do the what's this? Oh, is that around my eyes? Raven Guard, Hell Sign. Oh, okay. Where is this? Oh, that's on the lip, I guess. That's on the head. Head. Let's see. We should do a new tattoo every time we get, uh, we do a successful raid. What looks good? Let's do this one. Now, where is this? Oh, this is on the left arm. Oh, that's a full thing. That's the right arm. The back. Huh. What's this? Is beard? That's the fancy beard. That's a classic beard. That's a shaved, combed beard. Original beard. And exotic beard. I kind of like the uh, fancy beard, classic blonde hair, dark brown, classic hair, light brown, 
shaved red if it don't really look red That's it. All right, so we'll save it. We can come back. We don't want to get too tatted up just yet. Good. Need anything else? We want to save it for when we do something successful. See you later, Sven. Sure. That'll be our way of keeping up with her. What else have we got? Let's go see what this is over here. Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. A wild hunt. Is that wild or mild? Some of this interface in this game, though, I don't really like it too good because it's kind of hard to see it. The lettering and all. Maybe I need to increase the size of it. Does it seem like it's stuttering? 